Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Brokerpreneur Podcast. I'm Dr. Ben Spears, the ambassador of Flo. Yo. Skinnier than I was Friday. Though. <laughs> but I am here with the big guy as usual. How's it going, the go. Yeah, yeah, he's I'm the go. I'm the no and the flow. If for you know, sure. For sure. <laughs> sh- How you doing, Matt? Doing absolutely fantastic. He's fantastic, guys. I could have told uh, you that before I even As asked. always. As always. Oh, my computer's blowing up over there. I don't yeah, know if everybody heard that. notifications going on. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Matt. Yeah, Ben. What are we talking about today, man? Trust. Trust. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to talk, we're going to dig a little bit more into, in the, in trust. We've been talking about it a, a lot lately because, you know, of course, we talk about being uh, authentic in what yeah. you do. And, uh, and that means kind of putting on display your trust. And that's real easy to say. But sometimes putting things into practice, you know, you need you need some, you know, you need a little bit of guidance on on how to put some of that into, into play. So that's what we're gonna so we're gonna dig into t- dig into today. Yeah, for sure. And with recruiting and retention, especially with where the market is right now, uh-huh. trust oh. is more critical than it than it ever than it ever was. Absolutely, mission critical. Right. So that that's really you know why we're putting so much emphasis on this, and uh, so you know let's just let's just dive let's just dive right into it. But before we do that. Wherever you're listening to this, hit that follow button or that like button, subscribe button, wherever wherever you are. And uh, don't push the red button. Right. But do push it if you're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I know push. that's complicated. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Just any other button. Don't hit the red one. But for some right. reason on YouTube, hit the red one. Right. All right. So, um, guys, September 21st, Matt is being oh, interviewed. Here we go. Man, he's always, he's always like trying to be all humble and which that's what makes Matt so great. And that's why he gets asked and invited to do these things. Um, September 21st, um, Entrepreneur Magazine's having a webinar talking about inflation and recession, all these kind of things. And of course, you know, our CEO, my co-host, Matt Vi, um, has been invited to take over there. You know, everybody knows he's a, he's an industry expert. And, uh, you know, uh, so I'm going to get invited one of these days. I'm joking. I, I, <laughs> I just like asking the questions, guys. Right. So um, other than that, Broker Pro Not So Secret Society um, is every single Friday at 12 o'clock. Make sure that I let everybody know that. Also, you can go to our website, brokerpreneurpodcast.com, and, and get a sneak peek. Yep. A sneak peek of behind the curtain of the brokerpreneur fast track, which is you know what Matt and I have developed to help any brokerage grow their business. So, Matt. Yeah, man. Trust, um, you know, uh, recruiting, retention. You know, the last episode, you know, we talked specifically about being transparent. Right. You know, in your. We're going to touch on that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, being uh, transparent, you know, specifically in your recruiting and your interview. We're going to dive, you know, at the beginning of that, you know, we're going to segue right through that transparency and we're going to talk about the onboarding process, yep. um, you know, for new hires and, and how and, and why maybe uh, is, is what we're talking about. Uh, that's so important. Yeah. So, uh, so we did touch on that in the last, uh, in the, in the last podcast a little bit, but it's something that's important that needs a little bit of its, a little bit of its own time, right? Yep. We kind of tied it together sure with thing. a, with a couple of other things. So, oh, uh, so here's the, so here's the bottom line, you know, you need to be able to explain to them what's going to happen with the, with the onboarding process, mm-hmm. but, but it needs to be super transparent of what they need to do during that time. Okay. Yeah. So, so here's what I, here's what I mean. Don't, you know, don't talk in your recruiting about having this great CRM that's just absolutely incredible, right? And then they show up for, uh, for onboarding and you go, hey, where's all your contacts at? Because, you know, it's time for us to upload all those into the, into the CRM. And they're like, well, hold on a minute. What do, you, what do you mean all my contacts? Well, yeah, you got to pull them off your phone. You have to this, you have to that. You, because that, then at that point, they feel like they're being bombarded, right? Yeah. There are, there are some things, sometimes whenever you sit down and people are signing on board with things, uh, you know, if you have a monthly fee that has to be collected, is it collected through a credit card, right? Is it, uh, you know, is there, uh, you know, is, uh, do you have a service that helps with social media or runs the social ads or something like that, that they got to, they're on your program, but if they want to order extra stuff, you got to have your credit card number there, right? Don't let those things be a surprise whenever you're sitting down. Right. Yeah. Do they pay for a, a portion of whatever this is or do they have a desk fee or, or however is how is that going to be handled? Right. Yeah. All of that. There, there's a, there's a real easy and I'll tell you what it is in just a second. But there's a real easy way to to get to the bottom of that. But you don't want it to surprise them. Here, here's the reason why you and I sit down. I say, hey, right. We're, we're onboarding. We're getting started. Everything's going the way it's supposed to. By the way, I need this. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's I left that in the car. I'll go get that in a second. OK, yeah. well, we'll get that. Well, let's I'm also going to need this. And they're like. 
wait a minute, you know, I'll, I'll go, right, I, okay, oh, but I'm also going to need this, and you have to have that, and what do you mean you're not ready to pay for that? This is supposed to be that, and they're like, wait a damn minute, right? Yeah. It's not that you didn't talk to them about that, it's not that they didn't understand it, it's not that, that uh, they didn't know that something like that was going to happen, it's just hitting them all at once. Yeah. And, and they're thinking to themselves, wait a minute, is all, could I have been prepared for this? Could I have known all of this was going to, all of this was going to happen, right? Yeah. And so, so as an example, right, you, you hire someone and, and you set your onboarding meeting with them. Hopefully whenever you hire, you're probably not doing your on be, onboarding meeting when you're signing paperwork. No, that's not right. what should be happening. Okay. Not. We're going to, we're not get We're not, again, that's a whole four other, four hour podcast. Let's don't do that. But at that point there should be an email. You should say, so, you know, congratulations again. Welcome on board. You know, uh, there's some things that we're going to do on onboarding, right? We're going to get some marketing set up. We're going to, we're going to make sure that, you know, your, your social media posts, the initial ones are done, you know, announcement cards and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is tonight, I'm going to send you an email and it's going to have everything that you need to bring with you. Yeah. Bring it all with you. And I will explain exactly what we're going to do with all of it. I promise there's no surprises, but I just want us to be able to execute right then whenever you sit down at that point, they're going to be like, okay. I got, I got a checklist. Yeah. There's a even, system to this. That's right. Even somebody that's not organized is going to go, shit, that's going to help me a lot. Yeah. Right. If you don't have that, when you sit down with them and you start asking for these things and did you bring this and what's your password? And they're like, oh, I don't know what my password for that is. Right. Yeah. You know, they said they used dot loop at their, at their last company or they're familiar with it. And that was two companies ago and their last company, they use, you know, transaction desk or, or whatever it was. And then they get here and you're using dot loop. And, and they forgot what their password is. And you're sitting there, well, we need to get that set up so I can get everything, you know, put into your system the way it needs to be put in your system. They're like, why didn't you tell me that? Yeah. What do you mean our marketing program that you need needs my MLS ID and my login and password? I haven't typed my password in the MLS for however long I use my fingerprint, right? All that right. kind of stuff just has to be ready to go. Yeah. Here's the key thing. If they show up and they don't have it and you've let them know they needed it, it's on them. Yeah. And then you just get to sit there and be the guide and say, Hey, it's no big deal. Let's get through this. What do you have? What did you bring with you? What are you ready for? Yeah. And then you can walk them through it. But if they sit down and they don't have it or they could have brought it with them and they weren't ready, oh, uh, absolutely. It's going to be a disaster for you. And it's on you at that point. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so people that are very organized will appreciate the heck out of this. People that are not organized will appreciate the heck out of this. You know it. If you show up and if they show up and you're not ready and people that are not organized or people that are not organized might give you a pass. People that are organized, that is strike, strike one, Jack. One. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, uh, so, so always just make sure that you're, that you're, that you're ready on that onboarding part. And it, and it's simple, man, you know, you're hiring people, you know, exactly what should be happening, right? Make a checklist. This yep. doesn't have to be some incredibly elaborate 12 inch binder, 58 page, right? No, yeah. this can be one simple email. These are the things I need to bring. I'm going to go over all this with you whenever, whenever you get here. Yep. You're exactly right. That kind of takes us into our, our next point, right? So you've, you've taken them, you've onboarded them. Um, and you know, that initial, that initial step, like you're talking about, that doesn't mean, you know, you wipe your hands clean. Right. Right. And it's like, okay, they're onboarded. I've got all their stuff in their CRM and, you know, go get on tiger. Come see me if you need something. Right. Open door policy. Yeah. Open door policy. When shit <laughs> falls apart, come into my door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're frustrated because they got to come in and you're pissed because they're doing a time that is the least convenient time for you. Exactly. What a disaster. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we just need to schedule, right? Set a, set a time apart, you know, set some time aside and, uh, and time block mm -hmm. to reach out, you know, to all of your new hires every week, you know, every other week, you know, it, it's going to scale down of course. Right. But, uh, uh, but in the beginning, it's so important to be right there with them side by side. Yep. You know, you don't, you know, you don't need to pull a, a, a desk and a chair into their cubicle or anything, Right. but you know, make, make sure that, you know, you let them know, Hey, just cause, just cause we got onboarded and we got started. Doesn't mean like I'm hands off. Right. Right. I'm here. I'm here to help you win. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so how do you do that and how much do you do and all that kind of stuff? Cause if I'm sitting out there in podcast land, I'm wondering, okay, what's the magic number here? Yeah. So here's the solution. Ask them. Yeah. Right. That's, that's, that's your starting magic number. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well guys, I appreciate you coming. <laughs> so, so what they're going to say is they're going to say, uh, uh, they're going to say, okay, you know, maybe, uh, maybe once a month, let's check in once a month, cut that number in half. That means twice a month you're going to, you're going to meet with them. Yeah. Okay. 
If they say once a week, that means twice a week. Just double it. Just, just yeah, double it. Yeah, multiply it times right. Yeah, half. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Half's not doubling it, man. <laughs> it's that simple math that gets me, Ben. I know. Right? But I can multiply anything times six. <laughs> yeah, you know that six percent, three percent, absolutely, man. All so day quick, long. all uh, my my whole family jokes with me about that. Watch how quick he's autistic when it comes to that. Watch how quick he can multiply everything times six <laughs> percent. <laughs> so, uh, so the so the so the bottom line here is is uh, figure out how often, right? Ask mm-hmm. them, and then and then double that number, right? Did I say that yeah. right? Okay, yeah. double that number, but but put it on your schedule. Here's okay. the, here's the key thing. Go ahead and type it into your calendar, make a reoccurring thing for the next eight. If you've got almost everybody has Google Gmail, right? Okay. In Gmail, you can go in there and say, okay, I'm going to follow up with them tomorrow. It's going to reoccur every week on Tuesday. It's going to reoccur for the next eight occurrences. Put it in there, set it for Tuesday morning at 8.30 or 8 o'clock or whatever time it is, or click it all day so that it's in your calendar. You can book over the top of it if you want to book over the top of it. But, but at that point, it's on your calendar so that, you can, so that you're, you're getting in touch with them. And this isn't a reach out like, hey, you know, complain, tell me everything that's going wrong and why, right? That's, that's not what we're talking about here. For sure. The, it, the conversation opens up very simple. Hey, Ben, I just wanted to, I promised I'd follow up. I just wanted to check in. So tell me how things are going. And then you go through your frog questions or your forward questions, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams, right? What's going yep. on with all of those things, get to the bottom of it, make sure they know what, make sure they know what's going on. What I would do in the beginning of that call is I would say, Hey Ben, I just wanted to, uh, I just, you know, I promised I would, I would follow up. So I just wanted to check in. Uh, I've got a, I've got a few minutes. I just wanted to check in and see how things are going. So now when you say, Oh, well, I really need help setting up my drip campaign and, and getting my, this and going over scripts and all that kind of stuff. Now that gets pushed to a coaching session. Yeah. That gets pushed to some other class that you have that gets pushed to them going back to your LMS that gets pushed to mentor to, program. Absolutely. It gets pushed to where it needs to go that way you keep this phone call as just a check-in you want to just be connected with them make sure that they they know that you're there from a support perspective yep yep, absolutely and uh you know so uh, this next point that we're talking about the last point is you know really interesting to me and Mm -hmm. uh, you know i remember when i was reading this i was like yeah man that's that's a really good idea right first first good idea matt's ever had ever ever within the last five minutes and, uh, and, and so, and that's off, that's offering a, a trial period yep. for new hires, right? Like, you know, we see that. In, in, or in recruits all, even. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Recruits. Exactly. But, uh, but the, uh, you see that in so many different, you know, softwares or whatever, you know, you really don't start thinking about that, you know, from a, a brokerage standpoint. Right. And I just think that's, that's, that's such a cool, that's such a cool idea. Uh, and, and hopefully all of our listeners, you know, getting ready to, to hear it. I think it's a really cool idea, too. Hey, guys, this episode of the Brokerpreneur Podcast is brought to you by the Speculo Group. The Speculo Group is the turnkey solution for agent and brokerage lead generation. With a focus on generating the highest quality leads from platforms like Google, YouTube, Facebook, and more, the Speculo Group is your one-stop shop to dominating your local market and beyond. Visit their website for more information at thespeculogroup.com. Yeah. So, uh, so we live in a subscription economy, right? Yep. And don't get me started on housing turning into subscription, right? Yeah. Don't, I, I won't go in that rabbit hole, I promise. But, uh, but there's a lot of subscription to everything that, that's going on with yep. people. Okay. So, so this is what we, uh, so this is how I would, uh, this is why I would say that this is important. And then this is how I would put it in place. It's important because like it or not, we're being programmed to expect that. Yeah. Okay. They want to try it out with you to make sure it is what you said that it is because there's a lot of information out there about a lot of different brokerages, good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. And if there's too much information or if there's too much conflicting information, the default answer is no. Okay. So what you want is you want them to be able to try it on for size. Okay. Yeah. And so, so, uh, have a business planning class that you, uh, that you invite people to, right. Yep. And just, you know, have it two times a year, your end of the year business planning class, there's going to be you and about 8 million other brokers doing it. Okay. Yeah. The middle of the year business planning class, it's probably just going to be you. 
Right. There's no other brokers doing it. Right. So that's the one I would lean into the most. I would call I would call it my my you know mid year checkup or something like that, and and just offer that and have it by Zoom. And, yeah. and tell people that they can uh, that they can come and check in. You're going to go over some information with them, help them understand their plan. They can come in completely anonymously, uh, and they don't have to put their name on or anything like that. They can be iPhone too if they want, right? right? They can come in anonymously. You're going to go over some information that will help. If they wanted to dig in anymore, you could set up a session that's just one on one with you and them. Yeah. And then I would record that. Yeah. So the part where you're doing the talking, the part where you're doing the planning, you set all that up, you record it. And then two months later, you can offer it to somebody else and say, hey, yeah, we did this great planning session. You know, go check this out. It's on my site or whatever, right? On my, my careers page, or whatever the deal is, right? Yeah. So that, that would help from a big picture standpoint. That would help them understand that who you said you are, you actually are. Yeah. Okay. So uh, another thing, another way to try it out, right? Because we know the, the pillar, right? There's leads, there's cost, revenue, expenses, there's training in this, in this culture. Yeah. I would have some type of trial on all of those four. Okay. So from a, from a leads program, we'll circle back to that one in a, in a minute. Okay. Cause yeah. there's, there's an easy way of doing it, but you got to be careful with it. Right? And there's a hard way of doing it. Too. Right. And there's a, a disastrous <laughs> way of doing it. Right? Yeah. All right. But, but cost revenue and expenses, that's yeah. when you talk about cost revenue and expenses. There's a lot of training that you can do. And if you don't want to do it, go get a lender to come in and talk about, uh, setting up a personal budget to be prepared to purchase a home. Yeah. Right. Have that kind of stuff out there and have agents in your market uh, understand that it is for them and not their buyers. Yeah. So you have the lender come in and you say, are you a 1099, uh, you know, are you a 1099 employee? Are you a, a, a contractor, a independent contractor? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're that type of if, if that's how you're getting your income and you're planning on buying a house a year, two years from now, what do you need to do in order to be able to be prepared to do that? Have that class and send that out to your recruits. And, yeah. and that's a way of them trying on for size some of the, the, the training that you're doing, but that helps them at the same time. Yep. So I'd have some I'd have some training. Culture ones are things like, you know, do you have a book club, right? Do you have yeah, a or happy hour? Happy hour, stuff like that, right? There's there's all kinds of stuff. I think, you know, hey, we're we're getting ready to go work at the uh, you know, we're gonna uh, go do like uh, like Karen, you know, she she invites people all the time to uh, you know, she goes to the uh, you know, to feed, you know, feed the homeless and stuff like that. There's a soup yeah. kitchen. And so she invites her agents to do it, but she also invites other agents that she knows from the market and says, Hey, Thursday you know, this Thursday we're gonna go, there's a cold weather, you know, uh, you know, there's a cold weather home opening or a soup kitchen or whatever why don't you guys come in and, and help out and so she invites people directly she puts it on facebook she wants it right because that's them experiencing the culture yep so that so that's a, a killer way of doing that oh uh, a couple of other free trials right do you have a transaction coordinator that works specifically for your company okay so there's a company that we've got in philly and uh and uh that uh, that, that we work with that they have that they're at a whole nother level on the on the support that they give from a uh, uh from a transaction coordinating standpoint right and so we talked about maybe offering that to some of the recruits okay because anybody can get a transaction coordinator but but hardly anybody has an incredible transaction coordinator right, right? and uh, and so what and there's are there's are incredible their system is just awesome and i said well well when you do a co-op transaction with somebody how about if you offer to do their side of the transaction no they might not be comfortable with it no they might not want it to happen but man you sure offered it yep exactly and uh, and so there's that chance of that at that free trial so they just get a, a look and feel for it and then from uh, you know we talked about leads right so so marketing you yeah. know, you got to be, you got to be careful with this and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, okay. So some, some companies on a national level have relationships with, uh, with large marketing organizations that allow the agent to get seven or 10 days free worth of whatever. Okay? Right. So I'm not going to say any names of anything, right. Absolutely. But, but as soon as that listing goes live, <clears throat> that agent is, uh, is given, uh, you know, a, a seven day free trial of whatever social media marketing yeah. or whatever it is. Okay. All right. So here's something you could do. Uh, especially if you're a competing uh, broker. Okay. Ask some agents in the market and say, Hey, listen, when you, uh, the, uh, you know, I know you're contemplating coming on board with me. Here's what I'd like for you to, to kind of explore and kind of understand. And, and, and uh, you know, we need to do this. The, we need to do this the right way. But if you get a listing, we can co-list it. I will put in writing that I don't want any of the that I don't want any of the commission as the as the broker. 
but it's going to give you a chance to kind of explore some of the marketing that we do as a, as a company. Yeah. That's a cool idea. And, and, uh, and so, you know, you got to get the other brokers permission. So maybe yeah, they're going to be on to it. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, or, or whatever. But at that point you're kind of given a, you're kind of given a free trial, right? Yeah. If you're completely in control of it, right. There's, there's, uh, you know, there's, there's marketing programs that, that you have that, uh, that some brokers have that they can share a, a, a temporary access or something like that. Make that part of your recruiting, right? Right? Did you did you reach out to people that you're that you're talking to and say, hey, by the way, I'm using this uh, this system, and they have a free trial, and uh, and I want to set you up on the free trial when you get your next listing because if you came on board with us, this is the kind of level of, of service that you would be getting from this, right? Yeah. And so you're helping facilitate that that subscription economy way of thinking about things in your brokerage because they're giving it a trial run. They're yeah. giving those four pillars a trial run. Yeah. No, I love that. Guys, I hope you love it too. Matt, do you have any more things? Do you have any more nuggets you want to add before I put a little bow on this? Uh, so, uh, yeah, we could keep going on this. Uh, so, so there's, uh, you know, we talked about leads. So let's let's go a little bit farther into the in the sure leads thing. for just a, for just a second, right? So, uh, so if you have a if you have a lead system that you're that you're using, okay. So, so let's talk about Riley with that with with Specular for just a second, right? Sure. Those guys are just absolutely incredible about generating quality leads. Okay? Oh yeah, you know it. And uh, and so so if uh, what you could do if you're the broker, right? You could you you've got some type of relationship with someone like them, and you can refer business to someone in a different office. Okay. Right. Now I know that everybody in podcast land just gasp. All right. the brokers, <gasps> right? They just uh, they just pulled one of those, but let's. Uh, I'm not talking about every agent that you bump into. Yeah, I'm saying there's an agent that you really want that you know is going to be a good fit. That they're right there on the edge and they're and they're contemplating and thinking about this. Yeah, and you've got you know a company like Riley is out there generating opportunities for you. You reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I, I want to refer this to you because I want you to see the quality of lead that we're actually getting. And mm -hmm. whenever you're here with the company, this is what we're going to do. We're going to help you out with this, with this type of thing. So the next one of those that comes in rotation, absolutely. I'd like to, I'd like to send it your way. Okay. Here's the risk. Okay. You got other agents in your office that are like, wait a minute, you gave somebody else some business you didn't give me. Right. Yep. Okay. So, so hundred percent, that's a, that, that's very much what could happen. Here's how, here's how I look at, here's how I look at that. On a regular basis, you should go around your office and ask everyone if they're willing to accept referral business and define the terms of what that referral business is, and then you should follow up by text or by email with them. You're going to be surprised how many people do not want it Yeah, because it's a distraction. They're going to give you all the reasons why, they, right? They don't want you looking over their shoulder, all that kind of stuff. It, uh, the other thing, uh, you know, and not to get too deep into this, but... You know, if there's somebody that's always getting that business from you and they say something like, well, no, I'm trying to get off. I'm trying to wean off of that business that, that you're giving me. I'm just kind of trying to take a little bit of a break. And, and you see that their business is winding down. Look out. Yeah. Because that means they're potentially planning a move. You yep. know, explore that conversation with them. Okay. But, uh, but if you go around the office and you have that conversation with everybody, you will know who wants those leads and who doesn't. Yep. And the other thing that happens at that point is it allows you to kind of get in touch with them and it allows you to see whether or not they're susceptible as an office to buying into that whole, I've got leads if you want them uh, type of, uh, type of, of uh, okay. recruiting conversation from yep. somebody else. Okay. So all the way around, absolutely. I would ask that question, but I'd also be prepared to generate that. But before I'd ask that question outside my office, I'd take care of my own house first and yeah. make sure I was on track with my own house first. That's why I wanted to circle back to leads. Honestly. No, absolutely. No, I love that. <clears throat> well, guys, that's a great point. I will be able. I will tell you because, right? Because I think maybe you guys may have missed this, um, and, and I'd like to simplify things a little bit. So, when we were talking about, um, you know, how often you should, you know, uh, uh, do check-ins, right? Right. And somebody says once a month. It means twice a month, right? And you were like, nah, you know, multiply it by half or whatever. And I was like, no, multiply it by two and. It kind of got confusing, so I, just, I wanted to kind of simplify that for everybody, right? So, like, grab a piece of paper, All right? Here's your formula, All right? Take whatever number they say, multiply it by four, then multiply it by half, <laughs> multiply it by one, then divide it by one. 
<laughs> In other words, three rights make a left. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, and then add a point zero to it. Right. There you go. <laughs> so, guys, wherever you're listening to this, hit that, hit that, you know, hit that calculator. Right. <laughs> hit that calculator. And then hit that, that like button and uh, follow button, whether it be iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Stitcher Deezer, Deezer, any of those platforms. platforms. Or if you're watching us yeah, on somewhere. the YouTubes. What's up? What's up? Hit that red subscribe button, that bell right beside of it. Get notified every time we drop a new episode. Go to brokerpreneurpodcast.com. As soon as you hit that equal sign <laughs> and, you, you, and you've, you've cracked the code. Right. <laughs> and uh, take a sneak peek at the Brokerpreneur Fast Track. It's right there on the homepage. You won't be able to miss it. And, uh, and look at all the cool things that Matt and I have to help you guys with your brokerage, no matter what phase or stage of the business that you are in. You know, we mentioned Speculo. Go yeah, to, I got to I got to mention something else. Okay, well, let me finish this first, right? right. I don't want you know R- Riley, and I want to give them the props, right? Uh, go to the Speculo Group dot com s p e c u l o group dot com. Check out their cool stuff too, man. man. Like you know, yeah. they they are legit when it comes to to to, to making those high, uh, getting those uh, high quality leads for your brokerage. So yeah, this isn't lead fatigue. Oh, this yeah. is, this is the real deal. Yep. Yeah. Well, what's the one thing you got to add, Matt? So. Uh, so you said crack the code just a second ago, yeah. right? Guys, just go to my LinkedIn page. We've got a brand new tool that we're using that, that uh, thanks to Michelle with, uh, with, uh, with bank code that we're, that we're leveraging, right? She came on to one of the, the events recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had her on before. It's absolutely an incredible tool. Here's the, here's the, main, uh, here's the main point. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything. It is a personality test unlike any other, yep. okay? And... And it gives you an understanding of what the stress code is for other people that you're talking to. So when yeah. it comes to recruiting, it is absolutely incredible. Go to my LinkedIn page. It's just my regular LinkedIn page. Matt Vi. Matt Vi. V I G H. Victor Indigo Golf Hilo, right? Sure. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, go onto my page. And a couple of day ago, two days ago, a week ago, something like that. I posted it. Just scroll through really quick. Click on that. It gives you the bank code. It's it's completely paid for by us. It's complimentary, right? Yep. So so we have the uh, the subscription for it, so that so that our, our clients and customers can uh, can use it. Uh, go on there, get your code. I promise you, it will help you understand who you connect with better in your market, how to connect with them better in the market, and it's going to help you uh, 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 do better in your listing appointments if you're still out there selling. Yeah. You're going to do so better fast. with your buyers. Oh, it's, it's not, in 90 seconds, you will have so much insight, it'll blow your mind. Yeah, ab- absolutely. Yeah, guys, we'll do that. And uh, we did it. Yep. All right. I'm trying to remember what mine was. I think it was AKNB. Yeah, right? that sounds right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Donnie um, actually guessed that. Yeah, he Don, like, Donnie Ben's. He's like, Donnie, Donnie's like, oh, mine's BK, <laughs> mine's BK in it. Whatever, I don't know what you're talking about. Donnie, <laughs> don't try and guess my code. I'll just tell you. Everybody knows I like Donnie. I'm just giving him a hard time. Uh, Matt, we do everything for one reason, one reason alone, brother. You just tell them what it is. Because we want to be part of your win. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Happy Labor Day.